so severe in his punishment. Where you see his mercy, you should look at his justice as well. You know, this excuse our man's givers. I only fear Allah. You can't judge me, I only fear. If you truly feared Allah, then you should be worried what Allah will judge you. How will Allah judge you? And if you can sit there and justify to me that you only fear Allah and I can miss Salah, you have no fear of Allah Almighty, you are a fool, you are fooling yourself. And Shaitan has wrapped him around, wrapped him around his little finger. That's what he's done. Shaitan's got you on the wraps, that's what's happened. He's got you because you don't fear Allah. Shaitan has put it in this setting for you to tell me, but I fear Allah. I, you don't fear no Allah. You don't fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. A believer fears Allah at all times. A believer doesn't have a moment where he doesn't fear Allah. We does everything he does, he thinks about the consequence. True fear of Allah stops a man from sinning. True fear from Allah finally right? draws a man closer to his Lord. Fear of Allah, yeah. Friday nights and nightclubs, fear of Allah, where's that fear gone? What happened to that statement, I fear Allah? Think a hundred times before you tell someone I fear Allah. Because man, man can put you in your place. And if you truly fear him, and you're truly a believer, then I swear by Allah in a believer's heart, Nabi Ali Salam said, no two fears can enter one believer's heart. No two fears. A believer only fears Allah or he only fears the dunya. He can't fear two things at one time. And sadly, no matter how much we say, we're scared of this dunya. We're scared of people, what people will say. We want to change something in our lifestyle. We're scared. You grow beard, maybe you lose a few girls that you talk to. That's why we're scared to do it. You go to a wedding, you don't want to do your wedding in the sunnah way because you're scared because people will say things to you. As right, if you truly fear Allah, you don't care what people will say. You put people on one side and say, I worry what Allah thinks of me. That's what a believer's mentality is. That's how a believer thinks. You know many people, what do they say? And I'm scared. God knows what will happen. You should only fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know, before you do something, and something courageous and bold, you say, I only fear Allah, if I die, I die. A believer, you see, when you're truly fearful of Allah Almighty, then death doesn't even scare you. Death doesn't scare a believer. What do you think? Death scares a believer. How many times do we think about death? You know why we don't think about death? Because we're scared of death. We're scared to die as people. And somebody can stand up and say, Imam Sahib, I ain't scared to die. No. The reality of it is we are scared to die. We are scared to show our face to Allah. But you know, a believer, he said, put death in front of me. Khalid bin Walid, when he entered into the army, and he entered on the battlefield, he said to the Roman and the Persians, he said, you know, look into the eyes of these, these movements. Look into the eyes of these believers. They desire and love death more than...